previously on The Biggest Loser. The contestants faced their first temptation. This is so good. And the blue team took a turn for the worst. I wouldn't have wasted a single calorie if you were going to go off and eat 2,000. Why would I have wasted my time? The new black team found out that adapting to campus wasn't all that easy. I said I cannot run! Do you got it? Red team beat out the black team at the weigh-in. We won! And sent the blue team to elimination. It just broke my heart. The blue team had a tough time sending home their team captain. Jerry, I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. The players on campus have lost an incredible total of 448 pounds. Yes! How much weight will they lose this week? And who will be sent home to continue their transformation? Find out next on The Biggest Loser. Started. Trainers, if you wouldn't mind coming up to the table, please. Great. <laughs> mm, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Trainers, remove the lids. The one with the chocolate on the bottom. There was a table filled with cupcakes staring at me. You're all assembled here today for another temptation. And today's temptation is for your trainers. Wow. <laughs> it would just be fantastic to see Jillian freaking eat a cupcake. I mean, that's like amazing in and of itself. Before each of you are four cupcakes made from the finest chocolate, homemade buttercream icing, and some of them have sprinkles. That's so cool. One of these delicious treats will give one team a 15 second advantage at the next challenge. And trust me, you want that advantage. Because if you and your team win the challenge, it will definitely help you win the next weigh-in. Oh, smokes. But in order to get that advantage, someone will have to eat the right cupcake. This week is trainer week. Bob, Kim, Jillian, we've seen the sacrifices that your teams are willing to make in this competition. And now it's your turn. Because in addition to participating in today's temptation, you will be <laughs> participating in this week's challenge. Awesome. They're all trainers, they're all very competitive. Um, so I thought it was going to be very interesting to see what they decide to do. So teams, I mean, your trainers talk big about sacrifice and team spirit, am I right? We talk big about hard work. That's right. Not eating garbage. <laughs> when was the last time you had a cupcake, Bob? I know exactly when I did. I had it a month ago. Uh-huh. It was a half of one, but it was, it was, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, you think Bob should go for it? Oh yeah, I think he should go for it. He weighed 460 pounds at one point. Of course he's telling me to eat the cupcake. <laughs> Isabel, you think Jillian should do it? No, I don't. That's my girl. I think they're, you know, to not eat the cupcakes would be practicing what they preach. So I think if they did, it would kind of reflect badly on who they are as trainers. I have every confidence in my abilities and every confidence in my team. We don't need temptations to win weigh-ins. David, 
You want to see Kim eat that cupcake? She wouldn't want me to eat that cupcake. We work way too hard on our bodies to have to sacrifice. Boy, it looks good, though. <laughs> <laughs> Trainers? At this point, it's no. It's flat out no. <laughs> We're not going We're not for it. Bob? We all have our thing. Like, this is my thing. This is my thing. I'm sitting there going like this. Damn, those cupcakes look good. Bob is obsessed with cupcakes, man. Like, that's his kryptonite. One thing that he can't say no to, it's cupcakes. I mean, that one is driving me nuts. This one's, <laughs> this one's laughing at me. I'm like salivated. I'm like this. Mm. <laughs> We can't. This is all fun and good, but like we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it the right way. And if it's a 15 second, minute, whatever the, the advantage is, we're all gonna like be in it fair and square. We're not gonna look for the easy way. I think the easy way out got Neil to 460 pounds. We're not looking for easy roads anymore. Okay, teams, your trainers are passing on it. I'll support that decision. We trust your trainers. It's not worth it. All right, well, I have to admit, I am incredibly impressed. Your trainers have set a very high standard for you guys and a very good example. I guess they'd rather you just win the challenge the old-fashioned way. You don't reward yourself with food. You don't eat something so that you get something in return. And every one of us is here because of temptations like that. And in the past, we've all failed. So if she had have eaten one sprinkle, it would have pretty much destroyed everything that she taught us. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> I wanted to take my team to Subway because they have been spending so much time here on campus and I wanted to show them that they could eat out in the real world and still find healthier options. Hi, how's it going guys? You know what I love so much about this place? They have something called the Fresh Fit Meal now. So instead of like getting chips and soda, you can get like oh. water and apples, there's raisins, there's yogurt. So what are you gonna have? Six inch turkey on wheat. Six inch turkey on wheat? Yeah. When it comes to the veggies, sky's the limit. He kind of taught us how you can eat healthy on a low budget, too, so it was a pretty cool thing to do. Mm. This looks so good. And this is pure red wine vinegar, not vinaigrette. Right. So what's so the difference? There's no means, oil. That means that there's like this whole thing probably has like 10 calories in it. Really? Wow. So finding better food choices is going to help you to continue on your weight loss path, right? OK, good. up to the beginning of the challenge it was a pretty tough hill and I was uh, honestly getting a little bit worried just because by the time I got up to the top I was out of breath and all I could hope was that you know we were running down and not further up. Well everyone I told you at the trainer temptation that today's challenge would have a major impact on the next weigh-in. So I'm thinking this can't be a downhill challenge. We see flags, we see a big clock. I was extremely nervous wondering what's gonna happen. Jez, the black team hasn't lost a weigh-in yet, and you guys are still six strong. Yes. How important is this challenge to you today? Uh, it's just as important as every day in the gym and every weigh-in, Allison. We go into everything with 100% and giving it our all. But regardless of what happens here, we're focused on the weigh-in. Well, I think we're ready to get to today's challenge. I knew we were going to be like running up and down this mountain somehow. <laughs> I wasn't sure how the, you know, the game was going to be played, but I was nervous. I think we're ready to get to today's challenge. See those flags down there? The first team is going to tell me how long they think it's going to take them to get to their flag and bring it back here. And the second team has a choice. They can either challenge the first team to get their flag, or they can bid to run the race at a faster time. The bidding will continue until two teams have issued a challenge. The challenge was basically just a race, but there was a little bit of a psych out factor. So um, it was kind of a bidding war to see who could win it the fastest. Think carefully about how you want to play this, because let me just tell you, the reward for winning this challenge is a really big advantage at the next weigh-in. It's so big, I can't even tell you what it is until we actually get to the weigh-in. What? Oh, to get to the weigh-in? That's not cool. 
Okay, red team, since you only have four members, black team, you're gonna have to sit two people out. And the blue team, you're gonna sit out Neil due to his injuries. I hurt my foot uh, sometime last week and I felt kind of bad. I, I was frustrated I couldn't do it myself, but I still wanted to root him on nonetheless. So why don't you take a second, think about who you want to sit out. Holly, you're fast. Even running like the wind. Jez, you're in for sure. I would like for you to do it. <laughs> And I want you to have the attitude that you can. OK. I was feeling very apprehensive about it, because it took me like 15 minutes just to walk up this hill to get to the starting point. So I knew that I'd have to probably go faster than I've ever gone, ever. And I honestly didn't know if it was capable of that. Black team, we're going to need a decision. What four teammates are going to compete today in the challenge? Excellent. Jim. All right, red team. How long do you think it'll take you to get down to your flag and back? Red Team's strategy coming in was trying to get a team to bid a number that we knew they couldn't run it in. And we just wanted to knock out a team. Uh, we're going to go with seven minutes. Seven minutes. All right, Black Team, you've seen the Red Team compete. Are you going to face them off? I think we can do it in six, Allison. Six minutes for the Black Team. Blue Team, what do you think? strategy at first was basically just doing numbers out. We took out a count that there was mountains and hills and stuff like that. I'm an engineer talking, mind you, so. OK, it's, then you decide. Do it. No, Does because. It? No, you decide. Do it. OK, blue team, I'm going to need an answer. We're going to go for 5.55. Red team. Uh, we think we can do it in 5.54. 5.54. All right, red team, black team, it's up to you. Uh, we think we can do it in 5.30. Oh, 5.30 is the current bid. So blue team, are you going to let black team take charge, or are you going to keep this in your own hands? You guys are strong. Yes, but I don't think they can do it. But the point, it's not on whether we can do it, it's whether we think the black team can do it at a time. They're saying. We're going to tell black team, get that flag. OK, blue team has challenged the black team. Red team, the black team has said that they can get that flag in five minutes and 30 seconds. This is fun. I like this. We're undercutting. We're going to go at 529. Wow, red team. Way to step up. Determine your own fate here. OK, black team. They cannot do faith like You guys. No, Jillian, you got it. I put my faith in Jillian and my faith in myself by doing that, that she knows our capabilities. And uh, she wasn't going to send us into something that she thought that we couldn't achieve. I know how fast I can get down there. I can get no, down there in two minutes. Too. Yeah, but I can get you down there in two minutes. Jillian, can you please try All my boys were like, we can do it. Let's do it. We got it. We can do it. And the girls were like, oh. It's frustrating. I will, I will trust you, but I am telling you that you can do this in five minutes and 28 seconds. Black team, I'm going to need an answer. The black team will run it in 528. You know what? We can do it in 527. We want to do it. We're going to do it. The red team wants to keep the matter in their own hands. They want to run it in 527. They, they do the hill climbers. They never do it without a hand. I need an answer from the black team. We can do it in 525, Allison. Okay. I doubt themselves so much. I doubt themselves mm -hmm. so much. Red team says black team, go get that flag. Yeah! All right, black team. The other two teams are waiting to see you run this in five minutes and 25 seconds. If you can beat the clock, you win this challenge. I need you guys like in a can do, not cannot do. When we won the bidding war, I was just scared to death. But at that point, when you know you're in it, you just put your mind to the game. And all I could really focus on was getting down that hill and getting back up as fast as I humanly could. Ready. Get set. I thought this was going to be a great opportunity for us to really uh, wow the red and blue team and show them that you know we really are a force to be reckoned with. Go! Let's go! Okay. Black team, go get that flag! Go, go. Oh, Run! You're looking great! You're looking great! Run! It's okay. It's okay. Keep running. Keep running. Please. Holly, I keep am, running. I am. I am. Take my head. Jez is leading the pack. He is down that hill. Fall downhill. Arms up. Be careful. Woo! Yeah! Come on! It's taken them one minute to get about halfway to their flag. Jez is still leading the pack. He's almost there. Come on, kiddo! Keep 
Keep it going. Come right here. I got you. Come on. It's right there, babe. Sprint it out. Woo! Come on! Why? Oh, 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 crap. Oh, Holly wiped oh, out. I think that's Holly. Holly's Holly. down. Okay. Oh. You got it. Come here. Jillian's got her. She's helping her, her back up. Go, 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 you got go, go. it. You got it. Don't be scared. Jillian is pulling oh. Holly to the flag. Good job, girls. Good job. Jillian's got the flag. She's bringing it back up the hill. Go, you guys. They got three minutes left. Okay, walk. Walk. Keep moving. Come on. Jillian's leading the charge with the black team. She's got that flag. She's dragging them back up that hill. The black team has two minutes left to complete this challenge. Guys, come on! Holly is struggling. She's slowing down a lot. It looks like she's limping just a little bit. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! You guys gotta hurry, come on! Holly, run! Black team, you have one minute left! Run! Look, Holly's look, picking up speed, look. she's starting to jog. It looks like the black team's gonna make it. Come on, come on, quickly, quickly! She's gotta get her teammates up there. They've all gotta be touching that flag. You've got 20 oh, seconds oh, to get your teammates on, up guys. there. When we heard 20 seconds, I knew I was going to power up that hill as fast as I could, and I knew that we could do it. Come on, Jez, get up this hill. Finish this. 10 seconds, black team, 10 seconds. Come on, Jez, get up this Come on, come on, come on quickly, quickly. She's got to get her teammates up there. They've all got to be touching that flag. you got 20 seconds to get your teammates up there. Come on, guys. Jazz, get up this hill, finish this! Ten seconds, black team, ten seconds! It was a great effort, Black Team. We almost did it. We could have done it, but um, our mental preparation wasn't quite there. Black Team, you get up there. Good job, Holly. I was just really glad that I finished and that I wasn't, like, crying. And I mean, that was just a huge accomplishment for me, just to fall down and make it back up and, you know, just make it and finish. And I'm so proud that our entire team finished. OK, Black Team, you did an amazing job. And you did get your flag, and you got it back up here. Unfortunately, you did not do it in the time that you said you could. We are now down to the red team and the blue team. The question is, which one is going to take on this race? We're going to start the bidding all over again. Red team, you have to tell us how fast do you think you can get down, get your flag, and come back? The team says I can do it in uh, 625. 625. Blue team, you going to decide your own destiny here? As we were bidding the red team, we thought maybe they were going to be a little bit slower than the black team, because the black team seems pretty strong. The blue team says we could do it in six. Yeah. Six minutes, yeah. says the blue chance. team. Uh, red team will do it in 5.55. 5.55, they want to run this. Come on, blue team. We felt pretty good uh, about the times we were bidding. We really felt like we could do the course in five and a half. Allison, the blue team would like the red team to get that flag. Oh. All right, red team, hit the starting line. I think that out of all the challenges, I had the most butterflies in my stomach at the beginning of this one. You know, I'm not the, the most graceful, coordinated person, and you really, you know, you got to fly down those hills. Red team, undefeated in challenges so far. I was stoked just because we, the ball's in our court now. We weren't going to come back without making the time. Ready. Get set. Go. Go. Come on, guys. Red team, go, go. go get that flag. Phil's oh. taking off to an early lead. He is just jogging on that hill. B's right behind him. Kim's running with Amy. Use your arms. Don't worry that I'm holding it. Come on. Pull. They have five minutes left. Phil's almost halfway there. Kim and Amy are taking the hill together, and Dave's yeah, taking up the rear. Dave, you're up. No, 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 no. You're absolutely fine. Come on, Hoss. Dude, Dave's walking. Yeah, they're done. Kim runs back for David. She's going to help him down the hill. Come on, David. Got it. Good job, Cowboy. Come on, guys. Good job. 
Americans racing, David, for the red flag. Come on, touch, 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 touch. Okay, go, go. A little less than four minutes. Everyone, go. Yes. Come on, Amy, get in there. Come on. They're yeah. all at a jog, getting Come up on. that hill. Come on. Push off the toes. 3.30. Right. Right. Amy, let go of the pole and use your arms. Come on. I'm not letting go. You can do this. Come on. Kim is holding the flag and pulling Amy behind her. Come on. Come on. Red team is three minutes Come left. On. Phil is pulling his team up the hill. Right up. Come on, guys. Go. Get her up there. Come on, wait. Come on, no, come on. Come on. And now Phil is carrying that flag alone. They've got two minutes left. Dang, they're going fast. Red team, you have one minute left. Go, guys, we got a minute. Phil is jogging up the final hill. He's got that flag. And we got a minute, baby. Push it. Go get your team, Phil. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on, Now that, what I call kicking ass. I was just overcome because, you know, I really was struggling coming up and I was so proud of myself, you know, because there's so many times in the past being heavy that I wouldn't even have attempted anything like that. I honestly think that Amy was the strongest on the team today because she wanted to quit, but she found it in herself to keep going and that takes strength. One, two, three, yeah! yeah! From within, I felt like I gained a lot on this challenge. Not only did we win as a team, but it, it just gave me a great sense of pride for myself. All right, Red Team, congratulations oh, as a team. And with your trainer, Kim, you beat the clock, you fought the uphill battle, and you won. I just got to say one thing. Please, Amy. If it weren't for you, I would quit. Heck no, you're not quitting. No you're, way. You're so great. I mean, she wouldn't let me quit. And, Good you know, that's like the thing with all of us. You know, we're so overweight, and something's hard, and just quit before we even really, you know, try. So she kept me going, and I'm today, so babe. proud of myself. And you didn't quit today, babe. You guys should be proud of yourselves because it was it was hard. Right. So <sighs> congratulations, Red Team. You have exceeded your expectations. You have won a major advantage at the next weigh-in, which you will find out about at the next weigh-in. I have no idea what you know the prize we won today is, but um, it's got to be big. Blue team, black team, I'm sorry, I got nothing for you. You didn't win today, but you still have a chance to win the next weigh-in. We used our fear as a crutch and kind of shied away from the actual challenge, and um, that was not, absolutely not, what the blue team is about. Today was such a bummer. I wish that we could have done it. I wish that we would have done it. We lost, and we didn't try. Good luck, guys. Coming up on The Biggest Loser, Bob teaches the blue team a lesson. <laughs> What? And later, the black team finds out that their hard work is paying off. Fight for it now! Everything right now! Coming up, a twist rocks tonight's weigh-in. Your victory has won you. So we woke up this morning. Bob just let us know that we're going to be going on a field trip. We're going on a 24-hour fitness, actually, in the real world. Come on. Before Biggest Loser, the gym was almost unheard of because it was just really embarrassing to have the big girl go to the gym. I want to talk to you guys about why we're here today. That challenge yesterday seemed like, from the very beginning, you guys were not wanting to do that challenge. You guys were just like trying to find the loophole or to get out of it. Even if we would have won yesterday, we would have won by default. I wanted to do it. I I'm really disappointed with ourselves. I really wish we would have done it. I wish we did just, even if we would have lost, we could have at least, you know, gone down with a fight. The reason why we're here at 24 Hour Fitness right now is because I wanted to get you guys away from the campus, not thinking about anybody else except you. I wanted to come in here, get a spin class going, and if you find a group class that you can take, you're still gonna be burning heaps of calories, and you're gonna be able to uh, maintain or reach your goals. Relax your shoulders and just start your presses. Press, start picking up speed a little bit. Abs are strong. Nicole, go faster. Breathe, breathe. 
he worked with me in the sweat. It looks like we just got out of the shower. But um, it was cool just get out of this setting, just, you know, be together, just us. We lost the challenge, thank you. We learned something from that. Go, 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 go! So we've done spin classes with Bob before, but uh, I think Bob has definitely got, uh, he's got that focus right now. So he pushed us a lot harder than we've ever been pushed before. What? Seven. What? Six. What? Five. Four. Yes. Three. Two. And one. Seven. One more time. Eight. Seven. Come on, Patty. Let's go. Six. You are a mother of three. Go. I want to make my family proud. I want to make my kids proud. I mean, it's hard. I have three babies. And I would be lying to you if I said that I don't think about them every day. You were gonna be a role model to many, many women out there. You know how busy it is and you know how hard it is to have three kids. You're taking advantage of this time. How hard is it? You got you 280 pounds, didn't it? That's how hard it was, right? You don't wanna do that anymore, do you? You don't want any more excuses. None, right? No. You're gonna take advantage of every single second that we have together, aren't we? Yes. Yes. You're worth it, aren't you? Yes. Yes, tell me that you're worth it. I'm worth it. Tell me. <laughs> tell me. Tell me you're worth it. Tell me you're worth it. I'm worth it. You are, aren't you? Tell me again. I'm worth it. That's right, you are worth it. You're gonna go a long way, baby. You're worth it. I'm worth it. That's right. Bob made me realize something today. He made me say that I do deserve it. And that was a tough pill to swallow for me because it was hard for me to believe that I deserve to be good to my body because I value who I am, or I'm learning to value who I am. One, two, three! One, two, three! Great job. Woo! Hungry? I'm real hungry. <laughs> Let's do it. The red team, I think we've uh, stepped it up every week, you know, and gotten a little uh, smarter about our workouts and nutrition. What'd you make that it with? Really good. Sun dried tomato turkey. Cheese. You know, at home, it wasn't necessarily that I was eating bad because I, I wanted to, it was just convenient. You know what I mean? So now I know that you could cook things faster that are better for you rather than, you know, going through the drive through Hey, crazies. What up, Kim? Guess what I got? Oh. What you got? I got your goal shirts. So you guys know it's really important to set goals, not only short-term goals, but long-term goals. All right? To be a firefighter. I love that. I love the goal shirts. It's just something kind of fun. And there's days where you need to get up and put on that goal shirt just to remind yourself, why am I doing this? It's so hard. So, Jules, what does yours say? Mine says to finish what I've started for once. What does that mean to you? I never finish what I start. I mean, I've started to lose weight 100 times, so I'm here to finish it. Yeah? Once and for all. You know, even though you can reiterate it again and again and again, there's something about having a tangible piece of evidence that says, hey, you know, for your family, to be a leader, that's what the goal shirts are. Billy? Mine says, um, to become half the man so I can be twice the man. <laughs> and, um, you know, to be a better husband, to be a better dad, to be a better coach, to be more active. So this is exactly why I'm here. I like that shirt. Thank you. Come on. Okay, go, go. Hey. 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 You're gonna, what, what are you yelling? You're gonna we'll love it. You're gonna right love it. I cannot wait to love it. I don't know what possessed us, but we just kind of got together and like, hey, let's try on some of our old clothes. Show me what it is. Oh my god, are those the jeans? No, these are Holly's jeans. Wait, those are Holly's jeans? Yeah. The 255 jeans. I've never bought this or worn it because it was so small. And I can't wait, I'm first gonna... No! Oh my no, god! No, no, wait, wait. <laughs> wow! I just thought, what an achievement on their part. And how lucky for me that I get to be a part of it. Um, We've been waiting for you all day to show you. God, I really needed this today. You have no idea. I'm gonna cry. I'm, I'm like, oh no, I'm not. Shut up. <laughs> I have um, some, something special to give you guys. The gold t-shirts. This one, I love. To give my wife the man she fell in love with. Aww. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love this one too. 
to fit in a hot pair of designer jeans. Me. And I right when I said I was like, Nicole, <laughs> I just want to shop in regular stores. I've never been thin, ever. So even when I was in grade school and high school, I couldn't go to the mall with my friends and shop at a store because I never fit into the stuff. Yeah. Okay, but more importantly, what we need to be talking about is the weigh-in. I, I mean, I have to be honest with you. Like, this week, like, I feel stronger. <clears throat> but you don't feel but thinner. But just I don't feel thinner. You know, we're, there's one thing that we're forgetting. We're forgetting one very big thing. The red team has some special prize yep. on oh. winning that challenge. Like, what is that prize? Allison told us that the prize for the challenge would be helpful in the weigh-in. It's hard to really predict, but it makes losing the challenge that much more difficult. What is it? Coming up, find out what the red team won as their reward for winning the challenge. Yes. And find out which team will be safe from elimination. <gasps> Last chance workout, you guys. Uh. In, in, <sighs> two, one. Hold it in, hold it in. Hold it in. strong up in this house. We lost the last way in. What do we say to that? Bring it. Thank you. Pull, pull. <sighs> Sweat it out. Bob just been working us into the ground. He really wants to win this next way in He doesn't want any of us to go home. And if it means that he's going to be the bad guy sometimes to keep pushing us and keep motivating us, then uh, it's only going to help us in the long run. Ah! Hold it. Ah. Five more. Jeez. <sighs> Come on. Ten. Hold it. Come on! Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. Two. And one. Good. Today's last chance with Kim individually. It was tough, you know, because all of her energy was focused on me. It's just like push, 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 push. It's killing me! No, this is great. Come on. Come on, keep the knees up. Go. There you go. Come on. Last chance. Think about that scale, how bad you want this. Five more. When we get to the last chance workout, Kim's like spaz. She'll throw some tricks in the bag to, to make sure that she's pushing you that extra mile, and she's gonna get what she wants out of you, or you're not leaving the gym. Two, and one, nice. Good job. <laughs> get me or I will hit you. Come on, harder, come on. Go, go, again, again. Jillian really wants me to push beyond my limits. I think she's trying to pull more strength out of me. Good! Good. One more, go! Holly's been strong this week. She's not afraid anymore in the gym. She's committing to the process. Good. Crazy. Sorry? I said you're crazy. Sorry? Answer my question. Why am I crazy? You're crazy to believe that what? E that easily that I can do it. I'm willing to bet that I'm not wrong. So not wrong that I'm going to go to 10-5. Today, I did not want to run anymore, and I thought my legs were just going to collapse out from under me. Am I crazy to believe in you? No. We're getting through this today. Do you understand me? Yep. You will not doubt me again. Go, start holding on. Let go. Good, good. Five, four, three, two, go. That's 10 and a half miles an hour. Am I crazy? No. Tell me, am I crazy? Because I'll go to 12 today. Watch me. You're not crazy. Hold on. Okay, Isabel's gonna run 12 miles an hour. Oh. Three. You know, she thought I was crazy because I believed that she could do it. I need her to start understanding what her potential is. Two. One. Let go. There it is. There it is. Just do it. You have five seconds. Fight for it now. Everything right now. Two and jump. Good job. I never would have thought I could do this. You're right. I'm always right! I never expected to be where I am in, in, in such a short amount of time. To be four weeks into this process and to be running at 12 miles an hour when 
a month ago, I couldn't get myself off the freaking couch to go for a walk. It's, it, it's liberating. You have got to trust that I know what you can do. Trust me. Okay, go, hit it. I think the red team will do fine in the way in. I think we've uh, stepped it up every week. I think it's nice to have the reward from the challenge to fall on if we need it. I just hope that we don't need that. Walking to the way in today, I felt pretty confident. Bob kicked it up a notch this week, you know, and we that's just exactly what we expect of him, and we want to give him everything we got. Our team has worked as hard as I've ever seen anybody work. Hi, everyone. Welcome to your fourth weigh-in. So I know all of you are feeling pressure tonight. Red team, if you were to lose tonight, you would be down to three members, half of your original team. Blue team, if you were to lose tonight, that would be two eliminations in a row. And black team, the pressure is higher than ever to maintain your success at the weigh-ins. Red team, you rocked the challenge this week, and you won yourselves a pretty big advantage at this week's weigh-in. B, has there been some speculation about what you guys won tonight? Uh, we're, <laughs> we're going crazy trying to figure out what we won, Allison. Hopefully, it'll definitely be as, as worthwhile as it seemed when you mentioned it on the mountaintop. Your victory this week, Red Team, has won you. Try bringing a resistance band to the office. You can do all sorts of stuff with it, like bicep curls, shoulder presses. You can even do bent over dumbbell rows. It's a great way to get a little workout in your work day. Red team, you rocked the challenge this week, and you won yourselves a pretty big advantage at this week's weigh-in. Your victory this week, red team, has won you. Immunity. <laughs> the whole team wins immunity, and you are completely safe from tonight's weigh-in. That was our best case scenario. That's what we were hoping for, but I didn't want to get my hopes up. But I'm hoping that the numbers will show more. <laughs> I feel a lot better because I don't feel like I lost a pound this way. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> when Allison told us that the red team had won immunity, <laughs> I was really pissed off. That's a huge advantage. That was worth the wait. It was definitely worth the wait. I could, I could have waited another day for that one. I was definitely shocked. I think that if we knew what the stakes were, the challenge, maybe Bob would have pushed us even harder to make sure we did it and have no regrets, because I have so many regrets right now. Red team, even though you are safe, we are still all anxious to find out how you did this week. So we're going to put you guys up there first. Phil, last week you lost nine pounds. So let's see how you did this week. Your previous weight was 363 pounds. Your current weight is... 358 pounds. You lost five pounds this week. Okay. Amy, last week you lost six pounds. So let's find out how you did this week. Previous weight was 279 pounds. Your current weight is? 278 pounds. You've lost one pound this week. You flinched when you saw that number. Yeah, it's, you know, not as much as I hoped for, but our team's here regardless, so it's a good week for this to happen, so. I, 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 just, I, I don't get it. Now, I'm going to be freaking embarrassed when my family sees one pound. If this is the best I can do here, then I firmly believe I can do it at home. Amy, your weight loss tonight brings your team's total weight loss so far to six pounds. David, last week you lost six pounds. Let's find out how you did tonight. Your 
previous weight was 338 pounds. The current weight is. Three hundred thirty-seven pounds. You also lost one pound this week. If I had to have a light week, I'm glad it's now. Red team had immunity. That's not fair. <laughs> this is a competition about weight loss. Their numbers were were very low. David, you add to your team's total to bring it to seven pounds. Okay, B, you're the last member of the red team to weigh in. Last week you lost four pounds. Let's find out how you did. <laughs> I just always hope for double digits. I always hope for 10 pounds, at least. Your previous weight was 321 pounds. Your current weight is? 319 pounds. You lost two pounds. You know, small, set small goals and, you know, keep pushing. When I get under 300, I'm going to act a fool up here, though, I promise you. <laughs> I lost two pounds, and you have to be proud of yourself for that, but you get frustrated sometimes when you don't see the numbers that you that you want to have on the scale. This week, you bring your team's total to nine pounds, with a total percentage of weight loss of 0.69%. I was disappointed with the numbers this week. It's not an exact science, and I know what we're doing is working. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. OK, well, red team, luckily for you, your numbers are not important this week. So now it's time to see which team is going to have to face elimination tomorrow night. Remember, the weigh-in is not about the pounds that you lose, but about your total percentage of weight loss. Holly, you're up first. Before I got up on the scale, I thought, you know, this week has got to be better than last week. I adjusted my diet this week and worked as hard as I possibly could during my workouts. Your previous weight was 239 pounds. Your current weight is? 236 pounds. You lost three pounds this week. It's consistent. It's consistent, sweetie. I don't, I don't know. Holly, how do you feel? Pissed. <laughs> I know. I know, babe. I don't cry. I know. You're doing great. I know. It's okay. You did get it It's okay to be disappointed. I lost three pounds. And I'm just here, like, working out all day and eating healthy food all day. It's just really disappointing. I don't know why I'm not losing more weight. Holly, mm -hmm. something else to consider. Since you started this, you have lost a total of 19 pounds. <laughs> Jez? Yeah? Last week, you lost four pounds. So let's see how you did this week. Okay. As I'm walking up to the scale, you realize, oh, you're going up against Bob and the blue team, and you know, they're nothing to tread lightly about. Jazz, your previous weight was 316 pounds. Your current weight is... 308 pounds, which means you lost eight pounds this week. It's been a great week, and it's only to be topped off with a, a, a good number, so I'm, I'm very pleased. Nice Excellent. job, Jay. Your team. And you bring the black team's total this week so far to 11 pounds. Jim, last week you lost nine pounds. Let's see how you did this week. Jim is like a good little private man. He, he listens, he follows instructions, and week after week he drops double digits. OK, Jim, your previous weight was 325 pounds. Your current weight is 314 pounds. You lost another 11 pounds this week. Seeing those numbers go up and up, I just started getting nervous. Like, are we going to be able to pull it off? That brings your team's total weight loss this week to 22 pounds. OK, black team, you're halfway done with the weigh-in. Isabeau, last week you lost five pounds. Let's find out how you did this week. I never want to get cocky about what my weight loss is going to be, but I've just had 272 in my head, which would be an eight-pound loss, and I would be, like, off the wall with a double-digit number. Your previous weight was 280 pounds. Your current weight is... 
dumbbell, your previous weight was 280 pounds. Your current weight is 285 pounds. We've lost a total of 13 pounds. Yeah! 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 That's my son's dance. Jim was the biggest loser on campus. The first two weigh-ins that we got to weigh in. Now, I was in his shadow for a while. But, you know, we shared a womb for crying out loud. We're, we're allowed to be a little uh, competitive. That brings your team's total weight loss to... 43 pounds. Julie, you're the last to weigh in for the black team, so let's do it. We had a lot to prove coming into this competition. Jillian, I think she's even more nervous than we are because she wants to prove that, you know, she was doing what was right with our bodies. Julie, your previous weight was 210 pounds. Your current weight is... 203 pounds. You lost seven pounds this week. <laughs> Did you do something different this week? I just, you know, kept doing the same thing and hoped that eventually it would catch up with me. And it will for you too. This is the biggest weight loss I've ever had, and I've been working really hard. I just wanted to see what it felt like to have a bigger number like everybody else, so it was so exciting. Congratulations, Julie. You're bringing this week's total weight loss for the black team to 50 pounds, with a total percentage of weight loss of 3%. Despite the fact that we had lost 50 pounds, I've learned not to count my chickens, especially not when Bob Harper's in the room. Those are big numbers, black team. But we're about to weigh in the blue team and see if they're big enough to beat them. Blue team, last week you lost a total of 21 pounds as a team. But tonight, in order to beat the black team's percentage and avoid elimination, you need to have lost more than 43 pounds. Neil, last week you lost three pounds. The red team had low numbers, like ones and twos. And then we've got the black team with all these high numbers. I have no idea what the blue team's going to be doing when they get on that scale. Get up here. Let's see how you did. Walking up there, I, I felt pretty good, but it's, it's, a, it's always a cautious type of confidence. I knew the pressure was on. Your previous weight was 386 pounds. Your current weight is... 5 I feel nervous about my weight. Even though I've done everything I can, I don't feel thinner, I don't feel lighter. Okay, your previous weight was 197 pounds. Your current weight is... 191 pounds. You lost six pounds this week. Just, just hope it's enough to help my team. Your six-pound weight loss brings the blue team's total weight loss so far this week to 17 pounds. Remember, blue team, in order to beat out the black team and avoid elimination, you need to lose more than 43 pounds. And that means the remaining three members of the blue team need to have lost a combined total of more than 26 pounds in order to keep the blue team safe. 
I wasn't secure at all with our 50 pounds. I was terrified because I was thinking if we lose, you know, that's just a target on me because I didn't lose that much this week. Nicole, last week you lost three pounds. You ready to find out how you did this week? Guess so. <laughs> Your previous weight was 262 pounds. Your current weight is... And the four pounds you lost this week adds to the blue team's total weight loss so far of 21 pounds. Patty, Ryan, that means the two of you need to have lost a combined total of more than 22 pounds in order to keep the blue team out of elimination. Patty, last week you lost five pounds. So let's see how you did this week. I'm very nervous. It was not a good position to be in. Patty, your previous weight was 260 pounds. And your current weight is... Patty, Ryan, the two of you need to have lost a combined total of more than 22 pounds in order to keep the blue team out of elimination. Patty, last week you lost five pounds. So let's see how you did this week. I hardly feel every week we're the top dog. I don't think that's being cocky, just that we're confident in what we can do. Hopefully the scale will show that we've worked hard. Patty, your previous weight was 260 pounds. And your current weight is... ...255 pounds. You lost five more pounds. Your five pound weight loss this week brings the blue team's total so far to... 26 pounds. That means that Ryan has to have lost more than 17 pounds in order to win the weigh-in and keep the blue team out of elimination. Ryan, it all comes down to you tonight. Let's find out what it is. I was confident that I'd lose 17 pounds. I had lost 15 pounds the first week, so I thought, you know, it was within the realm of uh, reason. Ryan, your previous weight was 347 pounds. Your current weight is... Significantly better than last week, but not nearly enough. We came into tonight's weigh-in wanting to, you know, stay out of the elimination room, and unfortunately, uh, we'll be back there two weeks in a row. I'm disappointed. I'm a little bit angry, uh, a little bit confused. Blue team, those were excellent numbers this week, but unfortunately, they were not good enough to beat the black team. So, the black team wins the weigh-in again. And the blue team, I'm sorry, but you will be going to elimination two weeks in a row. Luckily, that red team got immunity because those numbers were embarrassing. My team busted their ass every single day, but my team is going to elimination. It sucks. Okay, you are the biggest loser on the blue team this week. Congratulations, you cannot be sent home at the vote. One member of the blue team will be going home, and you have until tomorrow night to decide who that will be. I'll see you then. We had very good weight losses this week, but it wasn't enough. And that's what's disappointing. Hey guys, today's elimination day. I mean, obviously the blue team is pretty down in the dumps about it. We're kind of devastated we could let someone else go. You know, this is two weeks in a row and it's not easy the first time, it's even harder the second time around. What have you guys done this morning? We've decided that there's no reason. We can't give anybody a reason why we chose that person. Right. And that if it means going to a tie, we're willing to take the risk. We're willing to take that risk. I think that's a really dumb idea. They decided if it's just too hard and we go to a tie, we'll just let the rest of the house decide because it's just too hard. And I heard that and I was like, hell no. Hell no. You guys obviously cannot make a decision. People's 
feelings are on the line. Who can do it? You are not putting your fate in anyone else's hand. Between the four of us, me, Patty, Ryan, and Neil, I mean, we're all basically on the same level. We all work our butts off, and we all like each other. So what do you do? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. You will not take that easy way out because you can't make a decision. I forbid it. Booty, you are back in the elimination room for the second week in a row. As you know, we're going to go around the table, and you'll each reveal whom you've decided to send home. And whoever gets the most votes will be asked to leave the Biggest Loser campus immediately. OK. Since you are Blue Team's Biggest Loser this week, you cannot be eliminated. Why don't you go first? The person I chose is a wonderful person. I'm a very hard worker. Unfortunately, I picked Neil. That's one vote for Neil. Patty, you're up. I know that the remaining blue team has to be really strong with the weight loss numbers. I feel that maybe this person just hasn't hit that stride yet. <sighs> with a heavy heart, Patty, you're up. I know that the remaining blue team has to be really strong with the weight loss numbers. I feel that maybe this person just hasn't hit that stride yet. <sighs> with a heavy heart, I've chosen Nicole. It's okay. It's okay. Neil. I chose this person because I know that they've just exuded so much strength in the last couple of weeks. And whether they believe it yet or not, I really wholeheartedly feel that they can still do this on their own. And that's why I voted for Patty. I'm really sorry, Patty. That's one vote for you, Patty. One vote for you, Neil. And one vote for Nicole. Nicole, who did you vote for? You know, to ensure our team's here, we need to keep people with large and not to wait to lose, so reluctantly and with a heavy, heavy, heavy heart, I voted for Patty. I'm so sorry, Patty. Patty, that's two votes for you. If Ryan voted for you, you will be eliminated. But Nicole, Neil, if Ryan voted for either one of you, that will bring it to a tie, in which case the black team who won the weigh-in We'll decide for you. OK, Ryan. I think I need to make sure that the people I'm closest to are here. And that's probably gives me the greatest likelihood of success. I voted for Patty. Well, that's three votes for you, Patty. I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. Patty, you mentioned that you're not ready to go home. You have a lot of distractions there. I do. But I have faith that I feel that God got me to where I'm at now. He'll get me through those distractions. I'll eventually believe it myself one of these days. <laughs> I just have to work that much harder. Now it's time for you to say goodbye. I am especially grateful for the friends I've met along the way the long-lasting relationships I know I will have with these people. I truly love each and every one of them. <sighs> Hi, everybody. I know this has been emotional for you guys, but this next week, I want you guys to go for it. This is a new game, new rules, and it's like nothing you have ever seen on the Biggest Loser campus before. The game is about to change. What the hell is going on?
see the biggest loser campus is shutting down for a week. The kitchen will be shut down. The dorms are off limits. The gym is on lockdown. I know you're asking yourselves what all this means. Well, it means This whole experience will be unforgettable. In the last four weeks is the first time in a very long time that I've been able to really concentrate on me. Gotta find that strength within me. America, the next time you see me, you will be a smoking hot mama seat. <laughs> I started on the Biggest Loser campus. I weighed 280. Today, I weigh 219 pounds. Since leaving the Biggest Loser campus, I've continued to lose 36 pounds and counting. Before the Biggest Loser, my red salsa dress only collected dust. Now, I can wear it. I have the energy to play with my kids and keep up with them. Playing with my kids is, is living life to the fullest. I have the confidence that I can do anything, and it's just incredible.